Let's enter the mist. Heck. What do you say? What am I doing up here? Okay, we need fire resistance. This is like a dragon. This is this is a very real dragon, guys. Huh. What are you doing, dragon? Breathing fire? Dragon things? All right, so when he flies up, I think I want to be underneath him. Hmm. Hug the edge of the wall there. And then that looks like an opportunity. We took a little damage there. I wish I didn't have to take off my attunement ring, because some flame swath would mean that this fight was over already. Unless he's extremely resistant to fire, like some type of a fire dragon. Oh, oh jeez, he's trying for me. Pretty sure we want to be under him. Oh, what? Dang, a fireball. I thought we had as much time as we had last time. Ugh. Drink in case we do get hit. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Nope, drink, drink. Uh. <laughs> All right. If you're in the middle of the fire, when he breathes fire, you die. And I feel like that's right. I feel like that's rightfully so. I believe that the hippos are going to be gone, but I'll see you guys back at the fog gate and I'll let you know one way or the other. All right, guys, as you can see, the hippos are in fact back, but I'm going to try and run past them. Uh, getting here, there, there's no been nothing that I've really had to fight, just a couple of basilisks that you can see the corpses of back there. Um, I'm mixing up my equipment a little bit here, so Southern Ritual Band, get our Pyromancies back. Uh, flame Quartz Ring, block against that fire. We've got our 100% Flame Block Shield, the Gurm Great Shield, good stuff. Um, not going so far as to change like our actual armor, uh, the pyromancies that we have equipped are good old flame swath and flash sweat. So if we can get in there, I'm feeling pretty dang confident. I'm actually more so concerned about dying to like that guy petrifying me or this guy grabbing me and eating me or that combo. Oh God. Timber. Okay, cool. So we'll be down three Estus charges, I guess. But we'll make it through here just fine. I think we have plenty of time to cast Flash Sweat. Dang, one of them missed. Okay, we didn't have enough time to cast Flash, <laughs> flash Sweat. Oh, God. Fortunately, we can just block fire, though. Oh, this is a big mistake. Oh my god, please block. Please block. And drink. I really want my souls back. That's a large amount of souls. Excellent. Ouch. I believe we just want to be underneath him here.
That's not the weapon I wanted. There we go. Okay, crap. Good thing we had flame flash sweat on there. Otherwise, that would be death. Ow! Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man, I love a good monstrous, egregious pun. Oh, I should have rolled. I'm relying a little bit too much on the fact that I can block fire now. Rolls are a little bit better anyhow, in general. They don't drain your stamina, they don't lock you in place. No, no, aim at him! Ah! Okay, we... There we go, there we go. <laughs> alright, alright, well the important thing is that we kept our cool. At no point there did we, uh, shriek like, like a girl. Um, by we, I mean me. You guys can go ahead and also feel responsible for that if you'd like, though. It would also mean that you get to share in triumphant victory and viewing out over this freaking magnificent landscape. A dragon scale. ones these ones pointing at the wall here nope Lyra had and the self-congratulation of course yeah I did it dang right killed myself a dragon I'm a dragon slayer oh mother of god okay all right that's fine all right we're just gonna we're just going to assume that we're completely fine and the dragons won't attack us until we're proven wrong. The Emerald Herald doesn't seem too worried about Bearer it. Bearer of the curse. Long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me free. Bearer of the curse. It was my own manifestation that led you here. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Take this. Do not resist. The dragon welcomes you. Hey, while well, I'm here, do you think I could level up? No? Man. I am trusting Dark Souls here. All right, guys. I haven't seen a bonfire in a long time. The game knows it. I would burn a homeward bone if I was not 
doing a walkthrough. And then I would have walked a very long ways. I was right to trust Dark Souls. She'll level us up back at the far fire. Um, so some of the things about the, the dragon fight there. The Guardian Dragon. If you're using a shield to block the fire damage, you need to aim towards the sword, like the direction that it's coming at you, not the dragon. So, say that he's up there and he's breathing fire at the ground right there, you need to block in this direction. If he's shooting at the ground over there, you need to block in this direction, even though for both of them, the dragon's up there, right? Bearer of the cur until hope has. And do a very good job of showing that off. I really kind of brute forced the dragon. Wow. Still nothing on that, huh? Well, I think I'm gonna get some of that Mirror Knight set, because it seems freaking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Twin Dragon Great Shield, because I think it's usually what I want equipped. I just don't feel like um, spending points on leveling up. We're level like 123. Go See what I'm offering. I don't feel like leveling up is a particularly good use of souls anymore. All right, the mirror knight set I think is the most impressive to me. It's very heavy, um, but it's got great ratios. I'm gonna just double check, like, so 7, 18, and 10.4 on those two. How does sure? that compare to what we have equipped? I mean, we'll probably stick with our helmet, because, I, I don't know, I really like the equip load burn bonus. It's not hugely massively important right now, but I think it will be uh, once we start throwing on the Mirror Knight set. Looking for up. Let's uh, tread a little bit lightly here before we buy like every part of it. Let's just buy one and then go and check and see what it's, what you use in order to level it up. Cause if it's like Twinkling Titanite, I think we're out. I think we don't want that. And I feel like, I mean, I'm torn between gloves and leggings. I'm going with the leggings and the reason why I'm going with the leggings is because of how utterly ridiculously hideous our boots are that's it that's that's the entirety of the decision making is our boots are ugly therefore i would rather trade them out than the handcuffs the pyromancy boost is also nice but all right so they're already uh, debatably better. They're definitely way better against lightning, for instance. They weigh a little bit more, but that's not particularly important to us right now. And they look way cooler. Alright, they look they look a little weird. They look a little weird because they've got the toes down there. That's fine though. They're just like they're like those new uh those I knew you'd be those the toe the toe shoes. You guys know what I'm talking about. The toe shoes. I don't remember the brand. Twinkling Titanite. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm way less enthusiastic about leveling up the Looking Glass leggings. Because Twinkling Titanite is freaking expensive. And we're already largely using it for the Penal Mask. Hmm. That's a shame, though. Getting that up to plus five would make it pretty amazing. Uh, how much Twinkling Titanite does she have for sale? Well, I've not She's only got three for sale. All right. Well, how about no interest? How about them petrified dragon bones? Let's start taking that seriously. All that's important to us is is overall damage, right? So we want to go to the Y display. No. Wait. Wait. What? What? 
Okay, there we go. That's the one that we want. Weapon one there. That's... We want something with a big number in that thing that's red for everything right now. Um, I think that we're probably... It's probably reasonable to say that we're going to be looking for like a greatsword or um, a halberd or something like that. Something that's got a lot of strength. The bastard sword is surprisingly damaging for how quickly you can swing it. The royal greatsword is terrible by comparison. Uh, though it does have bleed damage. Mastodon Greatsword is up there. 263 without any upgrades. Pretty good. Um, Drang Lake Sword. Also up there. We have the, the dexterity for it, so it's considerable. Swayhounder, it's already plus 5, but it's at 344, which isn't you know, too bad. It starts at 237. Mastodon Greatsword starts at 263. It's considerably better. Um, Black Knight Ultra Greatsword is at 371 without any upgrades, but it requires Twinkling Titanite to upgrade. Um, mostly I want to be looking, though, at, at these boss weapons, I think. So, Smelter Sword, Lost Sinner Sword damages you when you swing it, so I'm not, not wild about that. Uh, Pursuer's Ultra Greatsword is an idea. So the damage is lower than the Smelter Sword. It also weighs a lot less, though, just, just from memory. And... Yeah, I mean, it's at it's 281. It's got better strength scaling if we decide to pump for that, but we probably don't want to. So that's at 281, and it, it's got the Dragon Bone upgrades. Arc Swords, 225. Black Scorpion Stinger, 146. Though that's not actually a... Not actually a legendary weapon. Um, 259, 267 on the Crescent Axe is actually pretty freaking high. Magic Mace is cheating because it's plus three and it's got magic on it already. Mace of the Insolent requires intelligence that we don't have. Large Club and Great Club both do a pile of damage, but we don't like them. I don't, I don't like the moveset very much. Old Knight Hammer, not actually legendary. Um, Iron King Hammer, we don't have the strength for, actually. Man, getting 12 Ant and 12 Faith would almost be worth it. Some Spears. Da, da, da. So that seems like it's a about it. Like, I think it's probably between the Pursuer's Greatsword. I could legitimately see myself equipping the, uh, the large club probably for a while. If its scaling goes up to S, it'd, it'd be pretty good. That's a, that's gonna get up to a lot of damage. Starting at 313. I mean, it's got a pretty slow attack, though. I really did like the Arced Sword's, um, attack animations. It's 225, the Pursuer's Greatsword is 281. Those strong attacks are, uh... What I like in a strong attack, I'll start with that. What I like in a strong attack is range. And what this has is raw power. With that said, I think I'm going for it. Let's let's power this bad mother up. That's a sweet looking sword. Alright. Pile them on. No turning back now. And let's go buy another one and drop it on there. I'll be around. I'll provide what We're not gonna buy any more than that, because they are freaking expensive. What? Whatever. I don't know why she's so up in arms. I mean, it's not like I'm going far away. I'm just coming over here to talk to her dad. Jeez. Alright, sweet. 343 base damage. I'll be around. 
Now, how does it compare? How does it compare in raw damage to the, uh... That's not the button, it's Y. I always see show item info and think that that's right. To the Mastodon, the Mastodon Halberd. It's down lower, there it is. Huh. It's still a bit lower, but we won't be dealing with that finicky um, range problem that we've been having. And we'll be wielding a giant freaking sword. Both of these things are worth something. Bearer of the... Until hope... Until hope has fully withered. I really want to be able to hold a, a spell on my own. Like, it would be nice to have an attunement slot in order to have... Flame Swap there. I don't think it'll be more than up to level 10. I think level 10, it's gotta roll over. Um... I don't really want to save up until I've got like 80,000 souls in order to do it though. I think we've only had that many souls once. So I am going to drop some largely useless points into attunement for now and then eventually we'll have a slot. And that way if we need to get naked to go through some stuff that destroys your equipment or for any reason, that's fine. We'll still have flame swath afterwards. I, I don't know. I might actually just keep these. They're, they're so much less ugly. <laughs> I tried my best. I tried my best not to be uh, put off by the looks. They've got better elemental resistances. It's it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll wear these leggings for a little while. It's the Dragonary. I've been surprised that, like, I don't know if this is a thing that it does always, or if it's a thing that I've kind of been mostly progressing through the stages in quote, the right order, unquote. But it's kind of cool that there haven't really been areas. There's, there's one area that I haven't been to that's earlier on in the list of areas. Tough enemy ahead pointing that way. Is the bridge the tough enemy? I bet the bridge is the tough enemy. Yeah, this is actually pretty freaking cool. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, it's worthwhile to just take a moment to notice. This is pretty freaking cool. 